And lost but not forgotten, arson investigators revealing what they think is to blame for destroying the Boblo boat, the SS St. Clair. Glad you're with us tonight at 11. Investigators tonight saying a welding mishap was likely what started the fire, and it didn't take long before the iconic boat was engulfed in flames. Yeah, the Detroit fire boat battled flames all afternoon before finally putting out the fire. The captain of the boat, the same man who once captained the Boblo boat in the 80s. Jermont Terry talked with him, and Jermont, he shared so many memories after he spent the entire day practically trying to save that boat. You're right, Kimberly. You know, it took hours to get the uh, fire out. Tonight, the fumes and the smoke are long gone. And over my shoulder, you can see the Detroit skyline. But sitting in the foreshadow, a charred piece of our city's history. Friday will go down as a smoky and sad day in history along the Detroit River. And you can see smoke as soon as we left the dock. The SSS St. Clair goes up in flames. While people from the shore looked on in disbelief, Ken Horner with Detroit Fire rushed to save the historic vessel. It just wasn't getting up here fast enough. The fire captain and his crew worked hard and long. But as Ken tried putting down the fire from the boat built in 1910, he witnessed his own memories burn. It's kind of peculiar to be here, um, sporting water. This is my very first vessel I ever stepped foot on. And like so many Detroiters, this ship is dear to his heart. I started as a deckhand in 1971, and I worked my way to the top. To become the captain of the vessel for two years. It's bittersweet, you know. I'm real fond of the Bobble. Now, decades later, he's back, looking at the charred shell, still able to see its beauty. I don't know if you ever saw the dance floor. It's all finished wood on this level here. It was all finished level wood, real shiny. The Boblo first sailed the 18 miles from Detroit to Boblo Island in 1898. Over the years, it brought smiles to families and even bonded lovers. Met my wife right here. Nearly 2,000 people would hop aboard and sail to the amusement park. It was a family thing and it was a Detroit thing. Those adventures lasted until the park closed in 1993. SS St. Clair sat empty for years, and like Detroit, it was on the comeback but the restoration attempts ignited the fire. She just couldn't survive. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. All we can do now is remember those fond memories of the uh, Bob Lowe and the time on Bob Lowe Island as well. Reporting live tonight, Jermont Terry, Local 4. So many memories it, for so many people. But I'm still blown away by the captain. Oh, I know. Of the fireboat being the former yeah. captain of the Bob Lowe. Amazing, yeah. All right, Jermont.